subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. That's Max. This is the Gold Edition unboxing and we're going to size compare it to some other popular phones because when you call it a Max, are you the maximum size we're going to see today? So you can see Apple logo at the bottom, iPhone at the side, Apple logo at the top, iPhone everywhere. It's iPhone day, 256 gigabyte. What comes in the box? 10s Max, EarPods. You know what? Just pause it. Read it for yourself. Let's get on to the good stuff. Let's go ahead and open this up. And only once a year, if you're buying iPhones every year, you get this plastic. Or if you buy any product, but for some reason, the plastic on the iPhones just got a more plasticky sound. So let's go ahead and open this guy up and see what's in the box. Come on, boy. And there we go. And let's open this guy up and let's see. Hello. Well, how you doing today, Apple? I didn't have to go to your store. Thank you for delivering this right to my doorstep. And you could see Face ID. You know, we'll read this stuff later. We don't got time for this. We already know how to use these phones. How long they've been out? 10 years now. And there is your SIM card tool. And uh, yeah, some warranty information. Probably won't read this or probably just go to the Apple store and be like, hey, something's wrong with my phone. So there's those Apple stickers. I've got about 100 of these. Let me know if you want some. I'll consider sending those out when I do the giveaway for the 300,000 subscribers. So here it is, the maximum sized iPhone XS Max with its gold color. Kind of looks like a more, I would say, toned down gold on the back part. But over here, it's a lot nicer on the sides, a lot more shiny because that's that stainless steel. But the first thing I'm noticing right when I grabbed it was how similar in size it feels to that A+. They were not kidding. I felt like I just grabbed the A+, when I grabbed this phone out of the box. So let's put that off to the side real quick and let's see what comes in the box. So you do have that tiny non-fast charging. Come Really? Come on. $1,200, $1,300 and this is what I get, this little puny charger? Whatever. It is what it is. Over here, we do have some lightning headphones and of course no airpods in the box keep dreaming and then over here we do have ourselves a lightning port and guess what no dongle so you better get used to using these or go ahead and pay apple another seven dollars or nine dollars or whatever to get yourself a dongle all right guys so i'm gonna go ahead and peel this guy off and goes all the way across like so i'm pretty much any new iphone let me go ahead and power this thing on and this comes with the a12 bionic we'll talk more about the specifications later but you do have an upgraded smart hdr camera on the rear can do like a you know portrait style blur the background get more bokeh if you would like it you also have a monstrous 512 gigs if you want it but i think the iphone 10s max is the true upgrade this year because the 10s is kind of like the iphone 10 already and if you had one of those there's really no sense in upgrading this year so let me go ahead and get my information and if i see anything new on these screens i will pause and show you those as well but if nothing is new we're just going to skip through this and get on to see the phone itself okay so just like previous iphones i did notice that we do now have the ability to use the display zoom here for the iphone 10s max so if you want to zoom in on the icons you couldn't do this on the iphone 10 you can now do this for the 10s max so let's go ahead and just hit next here and you can see it's showing you how to go home, switch between your apps, quickly access your controls, and welcome to iPhone. And here is that large, beautiful OLED Retina display here for the iPhone XS Max. Now, one thing I'm noticing right out of the gate is that even though this phone is heavier than the iPhone 10 and 10s, the way the weight is distributed across the body makes it feel less weighty because when you have like the iPhone 10 or 10s, for example, because it's smaller, you feel that weight more in that smaller body. So I'm just noticing that right off the bat. So heading into the settings, you're going to see that this is definitely running iOS 12. We got all the features, same features that you're going to find on pretty much any current iPhone with the current software. Now, I did go with the 256 gigabyte edition. So let's go ahead and go to general, go to about, and you can see it gives you 244.05 out of the box. So plenty of space here for this guy. Now, one thing I don't like about this 10s Max is there's still no split screen mode, but we'll talk more about that later. Taking a closer look at the device, you can see that we still have that bulging camera hump that we had on the prior iPhone 10 right here. We do have that same size power button over here, very shiny top. At the bottom, you do see yourself the no headphone jack. And there is one little small detail that I noticed about the 10s is that the antenna line moves to the bottom right there. That wasn't on the iPhone 10. So if you have design issues with that, you're probably not going to like how that 
little slit right there. There's one at the top here as well, and you don't see that detail for the iPhone 10. So the 10 actually has a little bit cleaner design when it comes to the antenna lines than the 10S or the 10S Mac. So quickly looking at the wallpapers, I know a lot of people like to see wallpapers. So let's head in there. Let's hit choose new wallpaper and take a look at these new ones. Just three, you can get all of these online. Just quickly search iPhone 10S Max wallpapers. There's tons of articles and places that are letting you download these. And in regular wallpapers, nothing but what you get on any other iPhone. Off to the left, you do see yourself your silent switch and you do see yourself the volume up and down. Now, one thing I can say about this phone is that it's extremely shiny along the edges, but a lot duller on the back, although it does shimmer in the right light. It's not too in your face. It's kind of classy looking, so I kind of dig it, but the sides is where I really like the iPhone XS Max when it comes to the gold. It just pops on these stainless steel sides. Now, taking a look at the camera, let's see if there's anything different in here. There should be but we're not gonna see it unless we go into portrait mode. This is where it's gonna allow you to blur the background. You can see your photo depth information. It's got the depth camera and people are in the Apple store gonna be talking up customers about this new depth map data that it does. But really we're gonna see if that actually makes a difference in the real world. Are we really gonna use that all that much? That's basically it. The iPhone XS Max, you can see pretty large. I do have to reach a lot higher, but what I like about this phone is that the curved edges on this device make it a lot more ergonomic feeling than a phone like the Galaxy Note 9, for example, which is a lot more square than this device. However, that doesn't make it a better device. We'll have to do a full comparison for that. So be subscribed to see that. But overall, I'm really liking it. Let's see how fast 3D touches, just as fast as pretty much any other device. And I don't think we're going to see, like I say, I don't think we're going to see huge speed updates in this. Yes, it does have the A12, but I don't think we're going to see like a massive difference between this and an A11 device. Okay. So that's enough about just the first impressions of it. Really nice phone. It's really large, a lot like the 8 plus, but with the iPhone 10 design, it's a lot like the 8 plus size though. So let's take a look at it next to the iPhone 8 plus. You can see you're getting basically the same size phone. So plus users before this is going to be nothing to manage this phone. It's gonna be quite easy to rock out with this device. You got a OnePlus 6, you were holding off to the next iPhones. Probably not if you're in the OnePlus 6, but if you were, you can see about the same size as the OnePlus 6, so with a bigger screen. So this is quite a nice design feat here for Apple, probably their best ever in the hardware department. Here's the Galaxy Note 9. Let's take a look at this guy. You can see the Note 9 still towers above the iPhone XS Max. So if you want the biggest looking phone, you still want the Note 9. It still feels and looks larger than the iPhone XS Max, but it's a lot more square than this device. Comparison's coming soon on that. So let's look at the iPhone XS Max next to the Galaxy S9 Plus. You can see the S9 Plus about the same size, XS Max a little bit shorter, but maybe a little bit wider. We'll have to do a closer comparison between these two. They're quite close. So if you got an S9 Plus and you're thinking about coming over to Apple, basically the same size you can easily handle this device as well so taking a look at the iphone 10 versus the iphone 10s max this might be a real upgrade a lot bigger than that device so 10s is going to be the same size as this so you're seeing the comparison right here it towers easily above this device so people have been wanting a plus size designed iphone like this this is your boy right here so looking at the google pixel 2 xl in comparison very similar size so basically apple has just brought their 10 series device to basically all these large Android phone sizes with the 10s Max. I thought it was gonna be bigger, but because of the way they designed it, it's more like it's fitting more screen than most of the Android devices, but in a similar size. So if you like that form factor, you can get a lot of screen, but in a smaller body, this is probably one of the most ergonomic large phones you're gonna be able to buy right now. And one note is that it's a flat screen. There's no curved edges. So if you don't like curved screens, you're definitely gonna love the 10s Max. And that's about it here for my 10s max unboxing and size comparison you can see no s logo no fcc branding none of that clean looking design like i say first impressions is it's a beautiful device no doubt i mean you're going to pay over a thousand for this it better be a beautiful device it still has the notch but it's hidden with these new wallpaper still has the bulging camera very pretty sides on here the antenna line i don't really like that but it is what it is here for this device very nice glass on the rear protected with a case 
as I will be putting it right after this video. I don't like that we have a smaller non-fast charger in the box. I do like how the waist is distributed across this larger body. It's pretty easily manageable and definitely going to be my daily driving big iPhone for some time. So any videos you like to see on the 10s Max, let me know down below in the comment section of this video. I do have the 10s coming as well. I wanted to separate the videos so I can keep my focus on a singular phone. We'll compare that to smaller phones as well. So 10s is coming as well. So stay tuned for that. Any more feedback, questions, comments, concerns, drop it down below 